And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. We got round two. Unfortunately, did not get the win in the first round. So let's check these out. Oh, man. These are all... These are... I, I hate these two decks. <laughs> um, I think I have a better chance of beating Midrange Frostbite. So let's see. Okay, this is just the exact same list that my last opponent... Okay, never mind. Not the exact same list. Um, all right, so let's see. Nopify. So just kind of writing it down. I'm writing it down in columns. Um, I have like a like the column on the left are all cards that are three ofs. One ofs are going to be kind of down at the bottom, and then I have, I have two uh, two ofs on the right, three ofs on the left. Last time my opponent got um, all three dragons, and that was really really rough. Okay. And then Fearsome. Only two onlookers? I would prefer if the lists were not open. I I don't really like open lists. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm banning the other one, so whatever. I'm going to ban Mid-Range Frostbite. Wow. No Brittle Steel. Best card in the deck. They should be banning Midrange Frostbite. I hope not. I hope the ban Poros. Midrange Frostbite. I like my chances against either of those two decks. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Open list does just reward you for just playing generic tier one decks. No surprise there. What are they going to start with? I don't know. I'm going to play Draven. <laughs> What's up? Lab, lab works. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. That's actually our second sub of the day. We had Night Owl getting that resub in earlier. Okay. So we're going to have Soldier. Save mana for Transfusion. I guess... Precious Pet's better than Soldier, but no, because the Transfusion. Alright, we get some Tarek Draven. Whoa! Parker, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Parker. Awesome, our third sub of the day. River shaped in hand. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. I had the computer sound off. I'm sorry. Thanks for reminding me. That should be better. Punish transgressions. Currents pull them down. My life for these lands. My life for these lands. Okay, so they're just gonna let this happen. So I guess I should probably just let this happen as well. A gift from the river folk. Sunward. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Hopefully this works. Mm. That's too bad. But the Kinku. That's too bad, especially because I have <laughs> I kinda have nothing now. Okay, we got something. Never mind, we got nothing. Screeching Dragon is so good. Last gen fewer opponent had all three Screeching Dragons. 
They ate up my little poros. Could attack into a barrier or or not. I think like a longer game, like if we just kind of stare at each other, go back and forth, a longer game helps me out with the Captain Farron. They are playing three Repost, two Spirits Refuge. They only have the one Bright Seal formation. Last opponent had two Bright Seal formations. They only have one. Strike quickly, strike deftly. On go. I never try me. Your move. And there's the repost. Do I do another chance fusion? I don't know. I'm supposed to do another transfusion. Go get him, Captain. Soldier to me. Spirit's Refuge would be rough. Kind of want them to play Spirit's Refuge. No. Alright, so that's nine damage. Alright, so I have to... Um, Captain... Or I have to Transfusion. Um, let's see, so that's going to be ten, so it'll be seven. Yeah, so we're going to kill this. Basically, it seems like, which, which one do we want to kill? Between the Legion Grenadier and that. Alright, well hopefully no Spirits Refuge. They have to attack immediately and then Refuge, but they know that because I have all these Decimates. I guess that, that still just puts them to 7, but then my block puts them down to 6. So then two decimates kill them. So they have to have that plus repost or what single combat or something. Try me. I definitely can't let them strike and then single combat afterwards, right? I can't. I can't let them do that. Okay, I think Tarek Draven ended this. All right, Poros, I need you just to win a game. Yeah, I guess they could have deny. That's true. They have two denies in their deck. That's true. I guess. I guess it's not over. So they have one more deny. All right. They do not have the other deny. GGs. Yeah, they'll green. Yes, you have to go 5-0. So we, yeah, we are out. But still get a prize for winning three. Whoa, really powerful wizard with that resub. Yeah, it's just you know good, 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 uh, good games and fun to play. So we're not, we're not giving up. Yeah, they're going back to Shen Fiora. All right, Poros. Gonna need a good game from you. I'm keeping Mighty Poro and I'm keeping Braum. This Aurora Porealis. I'm not sure. I think I want to keep it. Yeah, I think I want to keep it. Yep. Sub sound is victory fanfare. Bum, 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 bum. You're covered. 
That must be nice. Nature blesses her followers. So I play the Poral Herder to try to trade with Bright Steel Protector. Um, but then I won't have Mystic Shot available. And obviously we're not getting a Poro, but... I think I would rather save Mystic Shot to try to break up a barrier later. Oh man, you never played the Final Fantasy games? Oh, they're so good. I mean, I guess I really just played 7 through 10. That was my wheelhouse. 7, 8, 9, and 10. All three of those were amazing back in the day. I haven't played, like, the new 10. I mean, I don't, I don't have a, a PlayStation. Um, but... They would fall by my blade. <laughs> I want to trade this for Caretaker. My life for these lands. I grow. Twelve was pretty good too. I think I played a little bit of twelve. I think. Yep, that's my plan. A mystic shot, a barrier. Spirits falls to me. How can Brom help? How can Brom help? Enforced equilibrium. Oh God. Okay. Good hand for them though. Perfect curve. Perfect one, two, three, four curve. It is easy, see? They have both champions. They can use her post to kill Braum. I think that's okay. Braum already kind of did its thing. You know, I don't want to just sit here and take three all the time. They just do her post. Well, that went pretty good for them. That went pretty good for them. Over Enforcer on the scene. I hope we can kill Fiora with the Vi. Here's the fun part. Freeze. I hope. Yuck. They are under my protection. I imagine that's game. Yeah, I imagine that's game. Get back here. <laughs> Great hand. Great hand. So we're gonna have to have our Poros defeat Fearsome. My best chance is drawing a give it all. Like, they have to have no deny and no single combat and no concerned strike and no sharp sight. And we have to top deck give it all. So, for all that to happen, I need to skip block here. I need to play. Scout. If they have any of those cards. If, if they have any of those cards, and if I don't draw give it all, we lose. Okay, they have one of those cards. Perfect hand. Man, Poros are just going to be our downfall, isn't it? We can't win a game with Poros. We can't lose like four in a row with Poros, right? 
I've already lost three in a row. Probably can't lose four in a row. So basically, the the two three and the one one, neither one of those will block a fearsome thing. having good success with Poros before, but two days ago with our lots of practice, it didn't really have that much Poros success, and um, you know, I guess I should have mulliganed and played a different deck, or you know, I should have switched decks to like a Demacia deck, like I'm definitely a Demacia player, but I don't know, I just want I, I like the, the power of Give It All, and I wanted to play something different and cool, and so I wanted to play Poros. I have I have tried turning on BTTV emotes so many times, and as far as I know, as far as all the settings I can tell, they're on. I talking to. Show me your best. It is easy, so if they're if they're not on, if there's something else I'm supposed to do, like I have it like enabled in my in my Google Chrome and everything too, so I don't I don't know anything else about it. I don't know. Anything else to do? The spirits of the betrayed are restless. Yes, rest is very important. Oh, this one drank his milk. Really wish I had one more mana for the snacks. I like this. So they must have Mark of the Isles, but I will take that trade with Mark of the Isles. Pretty sure. Maybe, may, I guess maybe it's not the best trade for me with. Wow, they have Pale Cascade and they didn't attack with Ballista? Yeah, that was a free Ballista attack with Pale Cascade, I guess. They. Uh, that, that's. Yeah, I was worried about that. I was worried about Pale Cascade with Ballista. Alright, so three, six. So we have eight mana right now. Frenzied Skitter is going to kill me. Maybe I should attack with the 3 3. I just don't want to get this Callista close to leveling up. So, my thinking here is that I do this to get multiple Poro snacks so that I can turn these 1 1s into being 3 3s. Please, no Frenzied Skitter. So yeah, I couldn't I couldn't take heart take heart the Braum with doing that. Yeah, they're they're passing to me, wanting me to play another lonely Poro, I think. And then they place Frenzied Skitter. Yep. So unfortunately I did have Frenzied Skitter, unfortunately. That's Best thing for them to have. That's the best thing for them to have. Anything else? I felt really good about winning this game as long as they didn't just have this card. 
And that's also perfect, because that levels up Callista, so that kills my, my Mighty Poro. Man, I cannot get, catch a break with my Poro deck. And then obviously it doesn't even do the damage to the Braum. I'll catch a break here. That was Doom Beast that kills me. Man, we cannot catch a break. Okay, let's see. Does Heart of the Yeah, does Heart of the Flock kill them? I don't think it does it. But, I mean they they just play another Doom Beast, so. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Does it make it 20? I think this may make it 20. I don't know, that's my only chance. Yeah, it's 20. No Doom Beast. What? No Doom Beast? Wow. Wow. Part of the fluff. Crazy. I guess I I guess I missed it. I thought the card that they grabbed with Stalking Shadows was Doom Beast. I guess I missed it. I must yeah, I'm, I like I must have missed something. <laughs> that was crazy. Wow, heart of the fluff, heart of the cards. Yeah, Doom Beast must have been out of the middle. So, like, with their hand, you know, like, they had they had the two cards on the left. So, for, like, whenever you're... They had the, you know, on the left of the screen. The two cards on the left of the screen. We know those are the two cards from the Stalking Shadows. And I thought they grabbed the second to the left whenever they played Doom Beast. But I guess it was third to the left. Um, you know, like, they, they did it pretty quickly. And I was, you know, kind of looking at my hand at the same time. And so I, I missed it. But I thought it, I thought it was second to the left. But I think it was third to the left, so it wasn't. It was the one in the middle. Um, all right, Poro's got to win. Oh yeah, everything killed. They didn't. They weren't. They're not playing unspeakable horror. They don't. They don't have any unspeakable horrors in our in their deck. It was just just Doom Beast was the only card that dealt direct nexus damage. Yeah, I need to not surrender. I agree. I need to not surrender. Um, cause that, that first round I surrendered and I could have top deck to mystic shot to kill them. I had, I had one out out of like, you know, 28 cards. I had like a one out of 28 chance of killing them and I surrendered and I, I shouldn't have, I was frustrated. So, um, yeah, need to not surrender. Yeah. Okay. So you can't work how it made. Yeah. So you can't make work how it made 20. So Poro snacks is really weird with heart of the fluffed basically. So the heart of the fluffed was a six, six, and then it, it combined with four cards that were all three threes. So that added another 12, so it got it to 18. But also, so that so that's 18 power that the Heart of the Fluff was supposed to be. But the Heart of the Fluff, let's see, let's go to the cards. Um, so it says, so, you, so whenever you play Heart of the Fluff, you combine all of our, all of our Poros into a Fluff of Poros. So it gains all their stats and keywords. So it gains all of the 18 stats, right? So that's that's it gains that, but it's a new card. Now it's Fluff to the Poros, which is a new card, that it gets the 18, 18 stats, but it's also a Poro. So Poro Snacks gives this an additional plus two, plus two. So Poro Snacks double counts on this card because the Poro Snacks count on all of your cards that you get. 
and so you make it in 1818 and now now you make a new poro that's in 1818 and poros because of poro snacks get plus two you know i had two poro snacks they got plus two plus two so that made it a 2020 so yeah it gets it gets the poro snacks again which is kind of cool yeah so that's a weird interaction but that's that's how it got to 20. Okay, so that's that's our second round for our tournament. We are now one and one. Uh, we need to get to three wins to get the card back. So we need to win two of these three to get to the card back. And um, who knows? We're gonna we're gonna try playing them out. We're gonna try to go four and one and just see what happens with our standings. But that was a close one. That was very close. And so glad we won that. I hope we get to dodge Shen Fiora. I hope our next opponents aren't playing that deck. Um, yeah, that, that's been a little rough. All right, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Of course, leave those comments. Let me know how you were doing in your tournament. Um, and, uh, you know, or just, you know, how do you like these tournament rounds? You know, what, what did you play or what would you play? Or anything like that. Love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.